Good morning, sisters. My name is Selma Dimitri Pires, and I am so happy to be here with you on this Monday morning, November 16th, to study another question of our lesson. The topic for Monday is a command to some who were healed. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to be here with us and to guide us in the study of these questions. Question A. How did Jesus react to a man with leprosy, and what did he tell the man after he healed him? Mark 1, and it gives you 44 to, verse 40 to 44, I'm sorry. But I'm only going to read verse 41 and 44 to answer this question. 41, it says, And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And then he said unto him, See thou say nothing unto any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. So Jesus reacted with compassion, and he touched the man and made him clean. And then he told him not to tell anyone, but to go to the priest with the offering that was customary for the cleansing of a leprosy and to secure for himself a, um, a decision that he was clean. Why did he do that? Why did he tell the man to go to the priest and not tell anyone in the way? Because Jesus desired to secure for him an impartial decision. Should the priest learn the fact concerning the healing of the leper? Their hatred for Christ might lead them to render a dishonor sentence. Jesus desired that an impartial decision be secured. He therefore bids the man tell no one of the cure, but without delay present himself at the temple with an offering before any rumors concerning the miracle should spread abroad. Question B. After healing Jairus' daughter, what command did Jesus give afterwards? And we find the answer in Mark chapter 5, and I'm only going to read verse 41. But as you studied, please go ahead and read all the verses. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. So here again, Jesus tells them to not tell anyone. Instead, he asked them to focus on the child and give her something to eat. Why was Jesus even reluctant to heal in another occasion? The other occasion here presented is the man, the impotent man by the pool of Bethesda. So we know that it was a Sabbath day and Jesus was moved by, by compassion again and wanted to help this man but was reluctant. And the note tells us that he knew that such an act of healing would so excite the prejudice of the Jews as to cut short his work. That was the only reason that he was reluctant to help this man. After Jesus healed a deaf and dumb man, what did, the, what did he request and what was the result? Question C. Mark chapter 7. In verse 36 tells us and he charged them that they should tell no man but the more he charged them so much more a great deal they published it so here again we see that jesus told them not to say anything but the more he told them to not say anything the more he they um, told everyone and the result of that was that Jesus was unable, as we read further, Jesus was unable to go into towns or move freely because the people were crowd him all around. The note says, looking to heaven, Jesus sighed at the thought of the ears that would not be open to the truth, the tongues that refused to acknowledge the Redeemer. At the words, be open, the man's speech was restored, and disregarding the command to tell no man, he published abroad the story of his cure.
May God bless us today, and I'll see you tomorrow for another question of the lesson.